What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Trillionaire Hustle, TL Reveal. Help you build your financial muscle, man. Boy, first off, let's get this out the way. Like, subscribe, comment down below on the channel. Support your boy, support the channel with your people. Um, I appreciate everybody who's been watching the channel. Appreciate everybody who's been sharing the information. I love you guys, man. I appreciate the support, and that's what keeps me going. But with today's a sad day, right? <laughs> Let's see. So, Dogecoin completely falls on its face today. And guess what I did? I bought some more. I bought some more. And I'm going to keep buying some more. <laughs> My fault about that. I'm hyped, man. But listen, let's talk about it real quick, man. So, Dogecoin, yeah, it's like I just said, it falls on its face. The last time I checked it today, it fell to 20 cents a piece. 20 cents a piece guys went from completely a couple weeks ago to all the way up to 64 cents down to 20 cents a piece and you know let's talk about it one the funny thing is dogecoin started sliding today's monday dogecoin started sliding since what saturday night sunday morning because there was a nascar race don't judge me i like nascar i watch nascar all the time so I'm watching the race. I was watching part of the, I was watching, yeah, I was watching the, I didn't watch the full race, but I'm watching part of the race. And I remember when the Dogecoin, uh, the Dogecoin car crashed. There was a car, there was a car in the race that was sponsored by Dogecoin. It had a big Dogecoin sticker on it, right? Before the race started, I said to myself, yo, if this Dogecoin car crashes, the stock is going to drop. But if it wins the race, the stock is going to raise through the roof because people follow the masses. And just like I, I didn't come out and say this, so I can't even take credit for it, but this is something I predicted in my heart. So when the car, when the Dogecoin car crashed, I said, oh man, it's going to be a long week. Everybody going to be selling Dogecoin. But me being the true investor, that's I'm like, yo, you know what? When it crashes like that, everybody going to be selling it. It's going to drop the price down. That's going to be a good chance for me to bring down my cost per down and do all that other good stuff. But I got some notes here. I'm about to run into it. Why Dogecoin car the, the price drop? So one, of course, like I said, man, the uh, the car crash and the price automatically started dropping because let's keep it a, let, let's keep it a hundred, right? Most people don't know what Dogecoin is. They're just investing in it because it's the wave. They want to say they own Dogecoin or they want to be against Dogecoin. And like I said, they it's the wave. They're just buying it to be cool. Guys, I'll tell you before, do not invest in things you don't know. Or for especially something that's unsure, like Dogecoin, you should not have more than, in my opinion, like 2 to 3% of your whole portfolio should not be in Dogecoin, man. But I'm going to get to that. So listen, like I said, once it started selling, it's going to be a domino effect of other people start selling because people follow the masses. Everybody follows what everybody else is doing. It's almost like people don't think for themselves, right? Two. I mean, three things. The third thing right now, listen, by y'all selling all of that Dogecoin, let me not say y'all, by people in general selling all of their Dogecoin since that car crash and seeing it just keep going down, keep going down, millionaires and billionaires are sitting around rubbing their hands like Birdman right now because they know this is the opportunity to get in. This is the opportunity to bring down your cars per down. This is the opportunity to get in because as it's sliding down like this, you want to be loaded up because it's going to have a swing back up. It's going to have a swing back up. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a stock market guru and all of this stuff. I just do common sense investing and I've been pretty successful in my opinion, right? But anyway, let's keep it going, right? Like I said, millionaires and billionaires right now just rubbing. They're going to see how low it dropped. And when it bottoms out, they're going to get in and just start buying it up, 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 right? And again, what are we going to do who follow the masses? When it start going back up, we're going to start buying it when it's going back up. But you should have got it on the way down, not on the way up. But anyway, hey, this is the good thing, though. Like I was just saying just now, if you got in late, this is your chance now to bring down your average cost per right for example it was hovering around the 30 uh the 30 cents per dogecoin for a while that means what for one dollar you can get three dogecoin right now it fell to 20 cents so that means for one dollar you can get five dogecoin that's a great deal so if you were averaging 
a dollar, a three three Dogecoin per dollar. Now, if you're buying more Dogecoin at a cheaper price when it's five per dollar, you're gonna get more return on your money. You're gonna be able to get more Dogecoin and more return on your money, right? So, with that being said, right? Like I said, you're gonna be able to get more return on your money, more. You get what I'm trying to say. Well, I'm losing. You get what I'm trying to say, right? Now, here's the thing. Like I said, when they started dropping, I bought some more, I bought some more, I bought some more. Guys, I don't plan on selling my Dogecoin for another 10 years. Like, if Dogecoin completely bottoms out and completely goes out of business, there's no more Dogecoin, they have completely kaput, closed that cryptocurrency, and I lose all the money I have invested in that cryptocurrency, I'm okay. I'm perfectly fine with that because over 97% of my complete investment portfolio is tied up in, sure, in, a, in much more safer investments, much sure investments that I'm, I, I can't say guaranteed because right, nothing is guaranteed, but I'm more likely to get my money back, right? in those investments because most of them are solid companies that I've been trading on the stock market for a while. We're not going to go into all the details of that. That's for details for a different store for a different day but 97 to 98 percent of my portfolio are in great businesses great avenues great investment vehicles to make me great money great returns so i'm okay with losing this little bit of money i have in dogecoin right i'm, I'm gonna be fine i'm gonna i'm pretty sure i'm gonna make my money back if dogecoin completely go out of business and whatever i have invested is completely gone i'm a hundred thousand percent sure that I'm gonna get my money back and some of my other investments. Like I'm gonna be all right. It's gonna be oh, okay. I missed, but you know what? <laughs> I highly doubt I'm gonna miss. But anyway, like that's just, but anyway. Listen, right now you should be bringing out your cost per like I just explained, man. The people that should be panicking are people who have more than five percent in their portfolio in Dogecoin. If you have more than five percent of your portfolio in Dogecoin. You should probably be a little panicky unless you did your research and you really believe in it. If you have more than 10%, even if you did research, you should be panicking. Even if you have 20, listen, if you have more than 20% of your completely investment portfolio in Dogecoin, you should be a damn Dogecoin guru. There's nothing you should be investing that heavily and you don't know nothing about it. You just buying it to look cool or whatever. It should never be like that. You better be a damn guru if you got more than 10, 20, 10, 15, 20% of your money in Dogecoin. That's just that, that's just what it is, man. But anyway, last but not least, man, let me just keep leave y'all with this last keynote. In 2010, Bitcoin was selling in September September 23rd, 2010. Bitcoin was selling for 0 0.06 cents per Bitcoin. Today, 11 years later, this year alone, the highest it went this year was 60000 a piece. Now, I'm not saying Dogecoin going to get up to that number. It probably might never will. But even if Dogecoin get up to 1000 a 1000 or, or 10 years from now, or five, whatever, man. Like I said, 10, 11 years ago, Bitcoin was selling at 0 0.06 cents a piece. Dogecoin is already beating those numbers right now. I'm not selling my Dogecoin for another 10 years or another 11 years. And if it completely goes out of business and kaputs, I'm okay with that because some of my other investments are going to make my money back. But don't, I'm just saying, don't give up on it. Don't panic. Like, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what to do. I don't know what your situation is. You know what I mean, don't invest with what you're not willing to risk. But anyway, just, just do your research and calm down, man. Calm down, for real calm down if you want to invest make sure it's something you could risk losing or make sure you do your research to make sure that you don't lose make sure you do your research so you can know what you're doing and how much you need to invest in there i love y'all i want to see y'all successful this is why i make these videos dogecoin took a hit today but we're gonna see who could stomach it if you could stomach it and last another five ten years of this game you're gonna be rewarded and if you can't that's okay put your money in much more safer options to get much more safer return that's fine I mean, you should never have leveraged yourself that much, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. You keep watching the videos, keep following the channel. I'm gonna give you the game, man. But anyway, man, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. I love y'all, man. Peace. Like, subscribe, comment down below.